Hi, and welcome to another Majestic.cloud video. My name is Laszlo, and today I'm going to sh show you how to assign permissions to an EC2 instance with I an IAM role. So let's look at our scenario. We have an um, EC2 instance uh, from which we want to access uh, the S3 storage service. But now we are talking about S3, but here it could be any other AWS service. It could be, I don't know, uh, RDS or uh, some other service like uh, SQS or Lambda and stuff like that. So, uh, as I said, we want to access this service and by default uh, our instance uh, has an access denied. It cannot access uh, the S3 storage service because uh, we have no credentials configured. So, what solutions we have? Uh, we can um, create an access key and a secret and put it on the EC2 instance, but this uh, poses some risks because what if uh, your access key and secret uh, get lost? Uh, I mean, someone else uh, finds them and um, um, tries to use them. You have a potential security issue here. So the other solution which is more secure is the IAM role and this is what we're going to talk about uh, today. So let's see what an IAM role is. Um, an IAM role is basically an IAM entity uh, that uh, comes with a set of uh, permissions for making AWS re uh, service requests. IAM uh, roles are not associated with any user or group. Um, instead, you have some trusted entities that assume these roles. So these could be IAM users, uh, applications, or AWS services such as uh, EC2. And uh, IAM roles allow you to give access uh, with a specific set of permissions to these trusted entities without uh, you having to share long-term access keys. But let's not waste uh, more time on theory. Let's uh, do a quick demo and see this in action. So I have an EC2 instance, which I launched a little bit earlier just to save some time. Let's connect to this instance. I'm, I'm going to use uh, EC2 instance connect. I have a video about this, uh, how to use this, and I will link it to this video. So let's uh, connect to this instance. And uh, once I'm connected, yes, I'm connected now, I want to issue, for example, AWS S3 LS. This command would uh, list uh, all my buckets. Uh, but if I issue this command, it says unable to locate credentials. You can configure credentials by running AWS configure. And if you run AWS configure, you could uh, add an access key and then secret access key and um, uh, region and stuff like that. But we will not do that. We'll instead go to IAM where we are going to create a role. So I'm in IAM here. I am going to go to roles. I'm going to create a role. And uh, I need to select here the type of trusted entity, which will be AWS service, and uh, the user will be EC2 in this case. I mean, the EC2 service will uh, use this um, role. Next, I'm going to click on per next permissions. And here I need, I need to attach a policy. So you could have uh, um, your own policies, uh, or you could use some uh, pre-made policies by AWS. And these policies uh, will define what kind of permissions uh, this role is going to have. So I'm going to search for S3 full access. So this is uh, a policy which will um, allow uh, full access to the S3 service. You can see here the, the JSON that defines these, um, these uh, permissions. It basically ha has an allow on every S3 resource, uh, uh, every, every S3 action on every S3 resource. You could fine tune this and only allow access to certain buckets uh, with specific conditions and so on, or you could mix in other 
uh, AWS services, for example, if you also need to access SQS, then uh, you would add that uh, here as well with another statement. So I'm going to stick with this uh, pre-made uh, policy, which uh, gives full access to S3. I selected it, I can add text, but I won't do that now. I will give it a role, S3 full, full access role. This will be the name of the role. And I'm going to create it. And then uh, once I have this role, I will go back to uh, the EC2 ser service. And then here I'm going to uh, change the role that is associated to the instance. So here you could uh, right click on this uh, instance name and you go to security and modify I am role. And once I'm here, I can choose a role. And you can see here I have S3 full access role, which I've created a little bit earlier. And I'm clicking on save. Once I've done this, I can go back to the EC2 instance and if I issue the command again, AWS S3 LS, you can see that it will list uh, my bu buckets that I have in S3. If I go to S3, you can see that my buckets here and uh, these are the same as uh, the ones listed here. Um, okay, now let's go back to the instance and uh, detach that role. If I go and modify I am role and uh, I want to select no I am role, click save and I need to confirm by writing here detach. And once I detach uh, this role, if I go back and issue the command again, again it says unable to locate credentials. So I have no access again. I could go here and create a user for example, add the user and um, let's click on uh, uh, test and create an access key for programmatic access. Um, and if I created this user, basically I have these credentials um, and um, even if I, uh, use these credentials, I have no access because I, I didn't grant any access to this user. So this user has no permissions. I could go back and uh, assign him S3 full access and then enter these credentials here in AWS configure. And then I would have access to S3 again, but I won't do that. I will uh, just delete this user. And uh, that's it. Uh, Let's confirm. Okay, so this was uh, a sh this short uh, video about IAM roles. This is how you can create an IAM role and attach it to the, uh, an instance. Of course, IAM roles have uh, a lot more uh, users than um, just uh, using them for EC2 instances. But I wanted to show you this, um, this uh, use case. Uh, you can use uh, the roles for accessing um, uh, AWS services from other trusted entities um, and um, that way um, you have a much simpler access and you don't have to manage uh, secret uh, keys and stuff like that. So this is it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, please click on the like button, uh, share it and subscribe uh, to the channel. I hope to see you soon with another video here on majestic.cloud. Have a great day.